God said he'll bring you to the kingdom once you turn from that. You want to make to the kingdom of heaven? So why would you do things that's going to hinder you? That's hindering you. Go to John 9, 31. Yes, you got to start realizing that. Israel means priest of God. Right. And God put us on a curse for breaking his law of sin, like what you got on right now. God said he'll bring you to the kingdom once you turn from that. You want to make to the kingdom of heaven? So why would you do things that's going to hinder you? That's hindering you. Go to John 9, 31. It's made for us, bro. Kingdom yes. For us. You got to start realizing that. Israel means prince of God. Right. And God put us on a curse for breaking his law of sin. Like what you got on right now. You understand? You see how people hate you right here now. Okay, you're in America, but you know in Haiti, our people are suffering even worse. You're, you're worshiping and representing false gods. Read that scripture again. Oh no no, read John. But you was like, oh, when you pray, read John chapter nine verse thirty-one. Uh -huh. Now we know that God oh, hear it. Read it strong. Now we know that God hear it not sinner. Read it again. Now we know that God hear it not. Sinners! Now we know! Now we know that God hear it not sinners! What did God say? He hears not what? Sinners. With you having that on, guess what you are? Guess what you are? You're a sinner. So now you have to repent. See, that's the thing. God is giving you a chance, our people, to repent. Because we were taught to go astray. You understand? This society has taught us. That's fashion. Like he said, Kyrie Irving got tattoos with it. Even tattoos we shouldn't be having. Boyfriend and girlfriend. God said you should get married. Right. Exodus 22. Go back to it. Exodus uh, 22, 16, 22, 16. This is how we're going to fix our community then, see? Because all the church that we grew up in, it's not doing nothing for us. Read that. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. You want God to hear your prayers? Hey, young bro, you got the information? Hey, yeah, get him subscribed. He got a flyer. You want God to bless you? You got to obey him. Read. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her. You laid with her, right? You had sex. So you, you got a girl, you spit some game to her, you get a month in money, you know, and then you laid with her. Guess what God said you got to do? He shall surely endow her to be his wife. God said you got to marry her. Because if you don't do that, and then you break up with her, you made her a whore. Now she got to go with another man. And then he might do the same thing. You, you understand? That's what goes on in our community. And what stems from that, Densi? Single parent homes. Woman just raising a child by herself. That, that's plague in our community right now. You raised with both parents? They both in your life, but are they in the home together? But majority of us don't don't go through that. Majority of us is just the mom, mostly, because the men they want to sleep around and they bounce. You understand? And, and don't marry, because guess what? Our nation starts at home. So you got to get yourself together. You got to tell that sister, you want to marry her, but right now you got to stop having sex with her until you get your own place. You got your own place? You got a nice job, you got a decent job, you pay for your own place, right? So you got to get married. That's the step you got to take. That is repentance. You know what repentance is? What's repentance? That's what I want. That's what I want. Unfortunately, yeah. Come back to the law. Because when you don't break it, you're in what? 
When you break it, you're in sin. So, go to Luke. Luke chapter 13, verse 2. Let me show you how important repentance is. And the Christian church don't teach you how important you got to repent. Read. The book of Luke chapter 13, the verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Christ said, except if you don't repent, you're going to die. The lake of fire is coming. Destruction is coming to America. I don't know if you see the news. But, right, nuclear bombs, but we ain't, it ain't safe here. Only way to get out of this is by obeying God. That's the only way to get out of this. You can't run the end and think it ain't going to affect you there. You understand? So you got to repent, Acts 319. So what you got to do? What you going to tell us? You ain't even start repenting yet. No, you still holding on to it. I, I, it ain't me. God said you must. Don't do it for me, then, see. Let me show you something. First John 5 and 3. Now you might say you love God, right? Okay, yeah, we're going to wrap it up. we got to wrap it up. All right, you say you love God, right? God goes, God's going to put that to the test right now. Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we what? Keep his commandments. How do you prove you love God? So what you going to do? All right. So we read a commandment. <laughs> you going to love God later? You can't love him now with that on, Dency. I got you. You ain't. You ain't. Hey. I just read. I just read you the scripture. All right. Guess what? Go. Um. Surat five. I know. We about to wrap it up. Time to drizzle. Surat five. You say it. Uh, you gonna do it later, right? Not later. So what's we'll, we'll doing it right now? Uh, like I said, to you and the Lord. The book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Uh -huh. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. God said, don't wait to turn to him. He said, he's going to do it. That's what our people do. I'm going to do it. Put it off. Read. Read. And put not off from day to day. That's what our people do. I'm going to do it. Later. And then later, later never comes. Later never comes. Hey, hey that's what you want God. Going to believe here? We don't know what you're going to do. What are you going to do? Save it? What are you going to do with it? So, wait, you know now not to keep it, right? So what are you going to do with it? So, why does it have to be later? <laughs> we here. Now is right now. We here. <laughs> All right, you said your word. Read it. For suddenly. Read it from the top. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. God said, don't, don't delay to turn to him. Read. See what's going on? That's God's judgment right now. God is judging somebody. Read. Make no terror to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. I That's say right. don't delay. Read. For suddenly. Suddenly. How soon is suddenly? How soon can that happen? <laughs> like you can walk right there and suddenly happen, That's right? right. That's Read. Right. Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. I say suddenly he can get you. That's why he said, don't delay. You say you're going to do it now? Like I said. But now is now, not later. But guess what? We we just gave you the warning from God, but that's our job. Because you are Israelite. You understand? And God don't want to kill his people, but you don't have, don't tempt God. Don't push him to that limit. You walk off and you continue, you're pushing him to do that. Okay, that, hey. Like I said, Lord's will, we see you because guess what? You're supposed to congregate. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be congregating with your people. That's what that's a law right. on the Sabbath day. Right. So Lord's will, I don't know if you got a flyer. Did you get a flyer? Uh, yeah, I got one. Yeah, but well, we got a school up the street. You should be wanting to come learn your history more. But we go deeper into our studies about how how we got to uh, the islands, the slave coast, who we were, how we were before slavery. You understand? But we're not taught these things. And we're taught to just keep these idols on. But Lord's will, you throw it away before the Lord gets you. That's all. We just give you a warning from God. You understand? Finish that out. That's it.
Read. And perish in the day of vengeance. Acts 319, and we're going to wrap it up. We need the last one. Bring it out! If you want to get the kingdom, you got to repent, or you ain't going to get it. And repentance is turning back to the law. Right? We read Exodus 20, so you, got, you can't have those idols. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Uh, repent ye therefore and be converted. Remember, Christ said, repent or perish. He said, repent or die. Right. We're reading another scripture that's saying, repent. That's through the whole Bible. God is saying, repent, repent, repent before judgment comes again. Because when you read the scripture, God's letting you know he's the one that did this. You should fear God. That's right. Our people still suffering the judgment. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted, uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out. God said repent so your sins could be erased. Uh, and he forgive you. Teach him. But, I mean, right now, right now, you, you ain't trying to repent. God ain't erasing your sins. He still got everything written down. Okay, you say that. Read. When the times of oppression shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's it. That's it. But God said you got to repent, man. Bring them up. Remember, we, so we read the law. You got to marry that sister. But you gotta, and it's your job because you're the leader. God chose you to lead my community. But we ain't got no role models no more that's teaching righteousness. We don't have that. All we got is rappers and ball players. Right. Malcolm X said it. Yeah. Rappers and entertainers are not role models. Right. Well, you know, because all they're doing is teaching our people to sin more. Right. Read. The book of Tobit, chapter 12, verse 10. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. You That's hear what God said? <laughs> what did he say? What did God just say? Read it again. But they that sin break God's law are enemies to their own life. What did God say? That means you don't love your life right now, bro. You don't. Romans 6, 23, God said you don't love your life. Because when you break God's laws, what do you think is the judgment? Punishment? What kind of punishment? What? Read it. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin. What's wages? Huh? No, wages, wages. You got a job? Yeah. When you get paid, that's your wages. That's your payment for your work. Read. So read again from the top. For the wages of sin. The payment for breaking God's law. Is death. Is what? Death. Is what? Death. Do you want to die? Not right now. <laughs> you say that right now. Right now. Nobody wants to die. Huh? Eventually we are going to die. Yeah, eventually we are going to die, or some of us. But guess what? There's a second death. That's what the scripture talk about. You should fear God. You don't fear, you, when you, you don't fear him because I'll show you, I'll show you. I, I already show you the example. You stop at red lights for fear of getting a ticket. What if I told you I'd be running? Huh? What if I told you I'd be running? I know some of our people try to get away, but for the most part, you stop. You don't break no laws. You don't go around robbing stores. Why? Right. Why? And it's against the law too. America go they're gonna send the police to grab your ass right away. That's right, that's what. Some people get away. Huh? Some people get away, but I don't do it because of the I, I'm trying to, you know, stay on the right path. Well, we're showing you the right path. That's right. But you hinder you're like, oh later, later. I, I'm not saying that I'm gonna do it. Read Russians real quick. You pay a lot of money for that? It's, it's trash. It ain't worth nothing. Right. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Now, now I showed you that many of our people will stop at the red light. We won't rob the banks because why? We know immediately what? Police is going to come after you. Right. But watch this. This is what God said. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Get God out. said, because he don't judge you right away. All right. Bring it out. For your evil work that you got right now. Because he don't just, boom, drop a lightning bolt on you. Because right. he can't do it. But he said, because he don't do that, 
Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. That's Your mind is just constantly, uh, I could get away with it. I could get away with it. It's okay, God still love me. No, that judgment is coming. Right. Here I just tell you, you don't love your life. Right. God is just being patient and warning you. Eventually, that judgment is going to come. And you don't know when you're going to die. You understand? Alright, as you go, Dempsey, listen to this. Though a sinner do evil in a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely... He said, though a sinner keep breaking God's laws. Yeah, you know, some people say, I smoke all my life. I ain't getting no lung cancer. Right. Some people say that. God said, because a sinner, you break God's laws, and they still live a long life. Mm -hmm. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. But... It shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days. I say it won't be long. Go, let's do the conclusion of the matter. All this we're teaching you, Dempsey, we're going to show you one in the conclusion. This is what we're trying to get our people to do. You understand? Read. But you say you want to start, you want to follow a good path. You understand? Right. Society don't teach you that's wrong. Society has taught us, oh, stealing is wrong. Murder is wrong, but they don't teach you all the laws of God. They don't do that. And the Christian church don't either. They teach you a false image. They teach you come on Sunday. I bet you celebrated Christmas. Yeah. You gave gifts? Did you gather with people? Huh? Huh? Okay, you didn't celebrate Christmas. But New Year. How about New Year's? Oh! See? Society led you astray. That's not New York. And you was at the Christian church. Who we'll keep lying to you? Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Yeah. What we're what we doing is showing you what God said to do. To keep it, read it. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. You got to fear God. And when you fear him, you're going to do what he say immediately. That's right. When you was a kid, your dad used to say, hey. Do this and do that. You That's did it right away, didn't you? Right. Why? Why you did it right away? Right away you did it so you don't get a whooping right away. But God said, because you don't judge our people, you delay. That's why you still got it on. Because God ain't, boom, hit you yet. Like I said. Hey, we gave you a warning. Read that. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's right. For this is the whole duty of man. That's, That's your job. Right. Read. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Right. That work right now, he give, he giving you the warning, he's going to judge you for it. Right. For that right there. Right. Do you understand that? Okay, read. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. God's going to judge you. And you've seen, God already, he already gave us and let us know he would do this to us. Right. We, you, you didn't live that time, so you didn't see everything, what happened. Right. Everything is not exposed, what happened during this time. That's right. How the men and the women were getting raped, right lynched, cut down and murdered, working Jeez. sun up to sun down right. in the sugarcane fields in, in Haiti. Picking, our brother's still doing it today and getting Trump changed, but you didn't live that time. So right now it's all easy. But guess what? God said every work, that right there, you won't get judged if you don't repent from it. Nation is men leading by example.
Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.